Hello and welcome to SourceCAD. In this video, I will tell you everything about the scales of AutoCAD drawings. And this is one of the most frequent questions which I have been getting a lot these days. We'll first understand the scales in the model space and then we'll understand it in the paper space or the layouts. Let's start with this model space. Now in this case, we are using imperial unit. As you can see that we have this drawing in fit and inches. So here we have this 31 fit and 50 fit as the dimension, the outer dimension of this floor plan and rest of these dimensions are clearly shown here. Now in order to plot this drawing, we need a paper and the paper size cannot be this big. So you cannot have a paper which is 50 feet by 30 feet long and to plot it, you need to have a smaller size of paper. A paper size of 11 by 17 inches is the one which I frequently use for plotting the drawings. And it's also close to the size of ISO A3 paper. Now let's say that we want to plot this drawing on a ISO A3 paper, which is approximately 11 by 17 inches. Now for that, we need to scale it down or we need to decrease its size for the paper but we are not going to do that here. Instead, we'll do it directly in the plot window. Now to understand that, let's go to the plot. So I'll go to this plot option. And if this option prompts, simply click on continue to plot a single sheet. All right, now we have a couple of options. So I'll start with the plotter. And in this case, I'll select this DWG to PDF dot PC3 plotter because we are trying to get the output as a PDF file. If you have any physical plotter attached with your drawing, you can select that one. Now here we have this paper size option. And in this case, we'll select our own preferred paper size. For this case, I'll select ISO A3 paper. And here we have this ISO A3 full bleed paper here that we don't want. We want the normal ISO A3 paper, which is here. And we also want the landscape one. So I'll select this ISO A3 420 by 297 mm. Now we have a drawing in Imperial units and you can see that it is in feet and inches. But right now the paper size is shown in mm. That obviously we don't want. So we'll change it to inches. And for that, go to this plot scale option. And from here, change it to inches. Now we have our paper size in inches. So it's approximately 16.5 inches in length and 11.7 inches in width. Also, you can see that we have this shaded area shown here. And this is the area in which our drawing will appear. Now to plot the drawing, we can select this option here. So we have display selected. So that means whatever is in the display of your model space will be plotted but you can selectively assign an area and everything within that area will be plotted so select this drop down and select window and that will allow you to select the window which will be plotted so i'll create a window here so i'll click on this point and i'll drag this cursor to select a window here and that's my selection so we have made a window and everything within that window will be plotted now we have the most important option here, the plot scale. Now currently fit to paper is selected. And when the fit to paper option is selected, AutoCAD will automatically apply a scale that will fit your complete drawing within the paper. So right now you can see that it is applying a scale of one is to 50 approximately. One is to 46.52, that's approximately one is to 50. So that's the scale which is used right now. So that simply means your original drawing and all the dimensions in it are divided by 50 to get the dimensions which will be plotted on the paper. Now, in order to get our own scales here, I'll uncheck this option fit to paper. And from this drop down, I'll select my own scale. So right now I'll select one is to 50. And there we have it. Now, all the dimensions will be divided by 50 and they will be plotted on the paper. So the scale is one is to 50. Now you can also see that the drawing is moving slightly towards left. It's not centrally aligned on the, on the paper. So to align it centrally, simply click on center the plot and it will properly align at the center of the paper. Now with these settings, click on preview. 
and it will prompt you that the annotation scale is not equal to the plot scale don't worry about that we are simply checking the proper scale of our drawing so for now simply click on continue and there we have it so we have our drawing here and right now the scale of this drawing is 1 is to 50 so this is a3 paper which is approximately 17 inches long and 11.7 inches wide and all of these dimensions and everything within this paper are plotted with a scale of 1 is to 50 so that means we have this 50 fit length mentioned here so if you'll try to measure this length with the help of a ruler or a scale you'll find that this length is equal to one fit because in this case all of these lengths will be divided by 50 that's the scale which we have selected and that will be plotted here now let's close it and let's change the plot style to monochrome and I'll select preview once again continue and now you can see it more clearly so there we have it so in this way we can decrease the scale of our drawing which is quite large now let's look at another example so now you can plot this drawing so I'll click on ok continue assign a location and let's give it a name scales model 2d and save and that will finally plot our drawing and here it is the final output now let's close it now let's look at another example and in this case I'll select this 3d drawing now this is a metric drawing in which the dimensions are in millimeters and you can check the dimensions simply by typing u and on the command line and then press enter that will show you the dimension here which is millimeter obviously now the length of this 3d element is 30 units and the width is approximately 20 units so this is 30 by 20 approximately now in order to plot this you can select any paper but in this case I'll select A4 paper ISO A4 which is 210 by 297 mm in size so once again I'll use the same method I'll go to plot continue to plot a single sheet select the plotter and ISO A4 now in this case once again I'll select the landscape view so here it is the landscape one and now we have fit to paper automatically selected so obviously in this case also fit to paper is selected but we don't want that so I'll simply uncheck it and now from this scale I'll select 1 is to 1 so with this scale if you plot your drawing then whatever is in the drawing will be plotted as it is on the paper also so if you've made your drawing here with the length of 30 units and width of 20 units then even on the paper you'll find the same length and width there will be no change at all also we'll simply center the plot here now let's look at the preview but before looking at the preview we need to define the display area that we forgot so here it is the display area let's select window and let's assign the window this will be the window all right now we have the window and you can now see how tiny our drawing is but click on preview to see it more clearly and there we have it so this is the size of drawing so as you know that this length is 297 mm and this length is 30 mm so this is obviously plotting your drawing in a scale of 1 is to 1 as you can see clearly now in order to increase the size of this drawing you need to increase the scale in this case because we are using ISO A4 paper so let's increase the scale here so I'll close it and let's increase the scale to 4 is to 1 now that's quite visible so let's check the preview again and there we have it now it's quite clearly visible so with the scale of 4 is to 1 every dimension has been multiplied by 4 times of its original value and then it is plotted here so in this case this length was 30 units but now if you use a ruler or a scale to measure this length then it will be 120 units 30 multiplied by 4 
in a similar way this width was 20 units so if you try to measure it with a ruler or a scale you'll find that this is equal to 80 units all right now let's close it once again and i'll once again plot this drawing so we have this in portrait view let's change it to landscape and now plot it and i'll save it so this is the final output which we are going to get on a4 sheet of paper so this was about scales in the model space so in the next video i will tell you about the scales in the paper space or the layouts